So water security is about having access to safe drinking water and also sanitation. Um, it's inextricably linked to food and energy, which are also really important for, for humans and for sustainability. Um, and we are interested in looking at those three things because they are being impacted quite heavily by climate change. Uh, climate change impacts water security through periods of drought, but from my perspective and my main focus, um, I'm interested in how glaciers respond to, to climate change and how much meltwater is being produced from glaciers as they retreat in response to a warming climate. Glaciers cover about 10% of the Earth's surface, but they actually contain about 70% of the total fresh water on the Earth. So they have more fresh water than our rivers and our lakes. So they're really, really important for drinking water, for irrigation and for energy production. Hundreds of millions of people rely on the meltwater from glaciers um, and the high mountain regions of the Earth. Um, in the Cordillera Blanca in the Peruvian Andes, the Rio Santa, which is the main river in that catchment, um, about 10 to 20 percent of total annual discharge in that river comes from glacier meltwater in the mountains. Um, but during the dry season, that percentage of uh, water contribution goes up to about 40 percent during extreme conditions. They make up about 25 percent of the world's total tropical mountain glaciers. Um, so that's a huge proportion in quite a small area of the world. But in the past 40 years, the glacier covered area in uh, the Cordillera Blanca has decreased by about 35 percent. So already we know that there are dwindling water resources stored in those mountains. Water security, particularly um, in relation to glaciers, is quite often um, set aside in place of th these big picture stories like sea level change. Um, so sea level rise is something that we've been interested in as glaciologists for many decades, but quite often the, the quantity of water produced by glaciers is secondary to the, the quality and, and drinking water availability. So water security from a glacier perspective is really um, going through a renewed sense of importance um, as glaciers retreat past a point called peak water. So peak water is where a glacier melts so much that there is uh, not enough ice volume anymore to actually maintain that same river flow that was there in previous decades. So the ice has just become too small in volume to maintain those levels of meltwater flow. So once this peak water has been reached, it's very, very problematic for downstream communities in terms of um, availability um, of, of meltwater, particularly in the dry season. In Peru, um, we have changes to the glacier area and volume in response to a warming climate. But Peru is also um, exposed to what's called extreme El Nino events. So we actually have a climate of extremes as well as an overall warming climate. Um, and those events um, can actually lead to increased discharge of sediment in catchments in addition to, to water. So we're not just talking about changes in the quantity of water being transferred downstream, but also in the changes to the amount of sediment being transported downstream. And that can have impacts on things like hydroelectric power. Um, hydroelectric power makes up about 50% of Peru's electricity overall, so it's incredibly important in that part of the world. But if we have problems of siltation, for example, where there's too much sediment in the system, that could potentially have knock-on impacts on hydroelectric power. Um, there's also release of both natural and man-made contaminants from glaciers too, either those that fall from the atmosphere that have been transported for el from elsewhere, or from naturally occurring heavy metals that are eroded from the rock. And as those are down, uh, transported downstream, they can impact water quality as well um, by impacting things like the acidity of the water and also the need to, to process the water uh, more thoroughly for it to be used as drinking water. Our research is trying to produce new management strategies for using the land, using water resources, um, to help mitigate against future uh, changes in glaciers in response to climate change. So to do that, um, we're helping local stakeholders think about how they might better use their land and other natural resources so that they have a secure supply of water both now and in the future.